Just sort of that Kentucky shooting, um, in, in your statement at, at the top of the briefing, yeah, you're critical of Republicans, but you didn't mention anything that the president wants to do, can, is doing himself about this. Is he at the, at the end of his ability to do anything when it comes to gun violence in the U.S.? Is he effectively at this point powerless? Uh, look, Zeke, as you know, uh, and as, as I've talked about, the president has talked about many times, the president in his uh, first two years of the administration has done more historic has done more executive action than any other president when it comes to gun violence when it comes to stemming gun violence when it comes to protecting our communities our schools uh and uh and so he's taken action he's taken action over and over again just last month he was in the west on the west coast announcing another uh, executive action and we are seeing um from these uh, uh executive actions that he sa signed more than a dozen that uh that the department of justice has taken some actions and pushing forward uh some of the uh, some of the uh, kind of uh, provisions in those actions, especially as you look at um, as you look at red flag laws and, and those types of programs, more than three hundred million uh, million dollars went to about uh, forty nine states and territories uh, to put that into place in those states. So there is actions that we have taken. The thing is, the president cannot do it alone. You know this. This is a le there is a legislative process that needs to happen, and Congress needs to act. And I listed out to ban assault weapons. Yes, the president mentions that over and over again. And high capacity magazines uh, require safe storage of firearms. Require background checks for all gun safeties. Eliminate gun manufacturers' immunity from liability. Those are the things that need legislative actions. And so he cannot do it alone. And so we need Congress to act. And if you think about uh, assault, uh, assault weapons ban, uh, we know when we saw when the president was involved in 1994 to get that done, we saw we saw uh, gun violence go down. And when it sunset 10 years later, it went back up. So we know what could work. And that's why you continue to hear the president calling on uh, Congress to take action. So but you're not announcing new actions now. Uh, and is, is the sense the, the president's done everything that he can himself? Well, the, the president is always going to find ways. So is his team. Uh, so uh, here at a, we have the Domestic Policy Council. You have other uh, offices here at the White House. You have the Department of Justice. We're always going to find and figure out ways that we can take another step. Uh, at, outside of all of the historic steps that this president has taken uh, to announce another way to protect communities. But the president has done the work. Now we need Congress to act. And just to follow Ken's question to Kirby before yes. about, about the press conference on this trip, four-day uh, trip to two countries. You know, why can't the president take questions from the press? Uh, right now, we just don't have anything on the books for a press conference at this moment. Uh, the president always loves to take your questions, oh, shouted wow. questions. No, but no. Uh, look, when it comes to these types of events, as you know, being the president of uh, of uh, at one point of the association, there are these are relationships that we have right with um, uh, with these countries. So when it comes to two plus twos or anything like that, clearly that is not just on us. That is also uh, on the uh, country that we're visiting. But as far as a standalone press conference, I just don't have anything to.